red lipstick. That's what we're talking about today. You can wear it. I can wear it. We'll show the world. You know, a lot of women think that they become invisible when they become a woman of a certain age. Ah, but you wear red lipstick? You're out there. I am, wom I am woman. Hear me roar. And I'm going to roar with red lipstick. Why am I doing this? Because I can't decide whether I should talk or I should put the lipstick on. Look at, look at the difference it makes when I, put on red lipstick. Night and day, right? I am woman, hear me roar. Looks great, doesn't it? You do have to have a little bit of guts to wear it, but French women wear it all the time. Now they have a, you know, the French have a different way of putting it on. They rub their finger on it and they pat it on their lips. I can't do that because my lips aren't, they aren't full, they aren't big, they're kind of thin. So even if you've got thin lips, you can wear red lipstick. As a matter of fact, one of the things, so all I'm wearing today is I've got, I've got a little bit of um, foundation on, just a little, and I've got bronzer, and I've got mascara and eyeliner and my, eye, my eyebrows and red lips. I think it's a fabulous look to go around with very little makeup on. Let's say you have no, uh, no makeup on, but a, but a very bold red lipstick. It makes people stop and look at you. And in the best way, it makes you look confident. And for so many women who may not have confidence, it kind of gives you confidence. If you think of people like Alison Roman, the cookbook author, she's got a show on YouTube called Home Movies. And um, let's see, who else? Katie Steckley. Well, she used to wear red lipstick all the time, and she looked fabulous. Uh, there was um, Dominique Sachet, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She interviewed her former mother-in-law, who I think was 90 and was French. She had no makeup on. All she had was beautiful, bright red lipstick. They, she looked fabulous. And that's what I'm going to suggest you do, is start wearing red lipstick, but not just any red. You have to be, you have to be particular in the red that you choose. So last week I went shopping and I went to Ulta and I went to Target for some red lipsticks. Now, mind you, I've, I have a number of red lipsticks in my collection. So I have those, but I wanted to add to it and see what they had in the stores. So at Ulta, I went looking for some of their classics and one of their classics is uh, Ruby Woo. You know what? I was so disappointed. What I did was, so they had Ruby Woo, but it's very dark. It's very dry. I could barely get it on the back of my hand. Um, didn't like it at all. So what I'm going to suggest is that you have to be a curator of red lipsticks. You have to look at them and not just say, oh, it's red, I'll wear it. I've seen a number of women just wearing red lipstick, but it's not, it's not a really particular chosen color. I, so what I did was I found three reds at the Mac part of um, Ulta. One of them, what is this? So this is called Ruby U. So it's a new color and it's, it's dark, but when you put it on, it's very jewel tone. It, it also, it feels, uh, it feels soft. It feels um, moist. So this is, this is a Mac and it's called Ruby U. So you have to be careful in shopping. So I'm, I'm taking these three colors to show you the difference in the reds. And this was another one. This is called uh, Red Rock. Again, it looks the same, but when you put it on, look at this bright, this is a gorgeous red. It's a bright, maybe more orange. I love it. I may have to try it on. Okay. So that's Red Rock. And this one is all fired up. You know, I forgot, oops, drop that. This is more of a, so these are three, can you see them? So I would say this is a dark, whoops, there's a hair. This is more of a fire engine and this has more pink in it. 
you know what, I'll try them on so you can see the differences. Um, changing lanes, wait a second. I wanted to tell you, the lipstick I'm wearing right now is, where is it, where is it? So this is called Cherry Lush. Well, I went on purpose, I was looking for Cherries in the Snow by Revlon. You know what? It's almost the exact same color as Cherry Lush. So I figure Tom Ford saw this color, which is Cherry Cherries in the Snow by Revlon, that came out in what, the 50s or the 60s? And it's been popular ever since then. Look at this. It's almost the same, let's see, it's almost the same color as what I'm wearing. Maybe brighter. See how, it, you know what, look, I get, so, so the lipstick co collects in the corners of my uh, lips. So what I do is I don't put, I try not to put lipstick close there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, the way to make sure that your lipstick doesn't go into your teeth, suck, but you put your, your finger in your mouth and uh, pull it out. So let me try on some of those. Uh, at the same time, you know, I've got so many. I'm so excited to show you all these lipsticks. Um, let, you know which one? You know, I'm going to try the one in the middle. Let's see that. Because it's a, it's, it doesn't have blue in it. Okay, the one in the middle. Let's see how this looks. So what I'm saying, so I was reading... Now this has, this has more orange in it, and it's a little bit drier, but boy, does it say I'm wearing red lipstick. I like this also. Now what I would do, because this has more of a matte look, I would put, I would put some lip gloss. You know, I don't like, wait a second. I just put it on the bottom. In fact, I meant to tell you, I don't like the look of lip gloss on, on you know, you meet somebody and it's just all lip gloss. I don't like that. It's kind of a sticky, icky look. I don't like that lip gloss look. Now, my sister, that's all she wears is lip gloss. Somehow she can get away with it and it looks perfect on her. And she, the color of her lipstick is, it's kind of lip color and it, it just works on her, on me. I, well, of course, she has different colored hair, but on me with my gray hair, I just disappear into the woodwork. What do you think? What do you think of this color? See, I think it's great looking. And it really, it tells people I'm here and I mean business. And I say that we need to tell more people that we're here and we mean business. We get to be our age. We don't want to be shrinking violets, right? We want to be out there and in people's faces and let them know we mean business. And you do that with one of the ways is with style and red lipstick. You know, the, this Mac that is called, that's called Red Rock is very similar to the Revlon Cherries in the Snow, which is very similar to the um, Cherry Lush that I was wearing. So obviously it's a very, uh, a very popular color. Did you know that one of the colors I was looking for uh, was, um, I wrote Fire and Ice. So Fire and Ice came out in, um, was it 50s or 60s? All I know is that I was reading about it and they said that it's been on the market for 66 years and that one is sold every minute. And it's been that popular for all these years. That's another one you want, might want to try. You know, some of these colors that are um, classics, you want might want to give a try. I'm going to put on the Revlon. But it looks good, huh? The woman who who was the model for do you remember? Are you old enough to remember the? Um, um, I'm trying to remember the Fire and Ice advertising campaign. It was with Richard Avedon in the 1960s, and Dorian Lee Parker was the model. She was gorgeous. With do you remember the ad with dark hair? And I remember. Her hands were like this, and she was wearing the Fire and Ice uh, nail polish and lipstick. She went on, and her sister, 
For those of you who are old enough, do you remember Susie Parker, one of the world's famous beauties and models? She also came from that era. Gotta take this off. Getting lipstick all over my hands. Um, in fact, I just ordered a book all about Dorian um, Lee. She was so famous. She was the first supermodel. Okay, what did I say I was going to try on? I want to try on the Estee Lauder. No, I want to try on the Revlon. The Revlon Cherries in the Snow. Because I want you to see how similar it looks to See how similar it looks to the Tom Ford? It's not as rich. It's, it doesn't have as many layers of color, and it's not as thick and lush and, lit and rich, but it's a very similar color. So when you go out shopping for lipsticks, don't take just any color. Go, wait, go someplace like where? Someplace where you can kind of try the lipsticks on. You might want to try um, Sephora. They have a line of lipsticks. I didn't see very many reds, as I recall. But start being a curator of red lipsticks so that, let's say you're tired. You want to go out, oh, I don't want it to run on me. Um, you're tired, you don't feel like putting on lipstick, but you have to go out somewhere and just put on eyebrows, mascara, and lipstick and something now, what I want to show you, another one. Now we're going to a completely different color. And this is orange sunset. I always get it mixed up. This is an art stick, sunset orange. I always think it should be orange sunset, but it's really sunset orange. And this is by Bobbi Brown, and it's an art stick. I love this color. It's orange. You know, magazines are going to say if you've got medium color skin and you're warm, you should wear this color. If you've got light colored skin and you're cool, you should wear this color. You know what? You have to try them on. I, I get so confused reading all those rules and I'm not one to go by rules. I kind of like... Okay, look at this. I mean, it's fabulous looking. It may not be the right color for me, but I think it looks great anyway. But I do wear, now, I, I like to wear it with NARS. Again, it's a gloss, and the gloss is, oh my God, uh, Eternal Fire, I think. You know, there's, I, down below it says show, show More. So that's where I list all the products that I'm, I'm using and trying. So what I do is, I just put the, I, uh, I just put the, oh! I just dropped everything. I just put the uh, gloss underneath uh, on the bottom lip. But I like this color on me too. So it's bright. And so this is what I mean. So you're really, you're wearing something bright and bold. Nobody can dismiss you because you're right there and you're in people's faces. And I say, good for you. That's good for all of us. As I say, a woman of a certain age needs to let everybody know that we're here and we're Pay attention, right? So this, I love this. It, it's sunset orange. Sunset orange? I never get it right. Sunset orange. Yes, sunset orange. Art stick, Bobby Brown. It's fabulous looking, right? So, I'm, so I've tried on a blue lipstick, which supposedly gives me whiter teeth. Actually, I think Crest right, White Stips strips do a better job. And I'm now trying on an orange one, which... I like it also. So if you wear glasses, you could wear, I mean, a great look is going outside with sunglasses on and bright lipstick and not saying anything to anybody. That's me. Bright. I should have brought my sunglasses in. But that's all you need is bright lipsticks, um, SPF and um, glasses, and you look like you've got it all made. Now this is a Ma Maybelline. I think this is Maybelline. I had the hardest time finding colors. And this one is lovely red. Okay, let's see how this looks. This feels great. 
I don't know if I like the color. It's a little... No, you know what? It looks really good. It's, it's a little dry, but there's something in it that keeps it a little moist. So I like this also. This is great looking too. You've just got to put your big girl panties on and be brave and wear some of these lipsticks. I mean, everybody's wearing that nude color. That's why you need to wear something different. Let's try this Ruby, Ruby U. Oh, and I love, look at the packaging. With the red on the top and the bottom. Isn't that great looking? Woo. This is, I'm really serious, red. Um, you know, I tried some of those uh, Chanel 999, something like that. And again, it was too dark for me. Everybody loves it, but me. The same thing with the uh, Armani 400, or is it 440? Again, too dark. Now, to be honest, I mean, I think this looks great with red hair, with white hair, because I'm looking in the mirror now, and there's a part of me that thinks I would never wear this color. But the other part of me thinks, boy, does this look good with gray hair. With white hair, it's really good looking. So my suggestion to you is get a red lipstick. Get a few of them. Practice. Wear dark glasses and red lipstick and go out, go out in the world and see what people think. See what you think. See how you feel. Uh, it, it's, it's quite liberating. I told you about going, have I told you about going to my book club? And I'm the only one there with bright red lipstick and bright nails. Of course, I'm the oldest one there, probably by double. Um, but it's fun. And it, it's, look at how white my teeth look. It's fun, it's something different. Nobody's used to seeing you with red lipstick. People, you know, everybody wears nudes, everybody wears browns. It's time to shake it up. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you've got some ideas about uh, colors. I guess what I'm trying to say is go and experiment yourself. Try, try the, you, you know, first try them on your hands, see how you like them. Um, look, at, look around at uh, various stores and um, go for it. Red lipstick. Oh, I forgot. And would you please subscribe and press the uh, click on the like button and the to be notified. I always forget. I'm really, you know what? I'm really surprised. I thought that I would not like this because it's kind of dark, but I do. What is it that I like about it? I like because it's so unusual for me. There's no pink in it. There's no lavender in it. There's no, it's just a really strong red lipstick. So what, it's Ruby, it's Ruby U. I like it. I hope you do too.